click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a new topic that is a properties of Fourier transform. Now basically the first property that we are going to study is a linearity property. So first of all let's see the statement first and then we'll move on to proof. <music> The first property is linearity property. First of all, we will discuss the statement and then we will move on to proof. So first of all, if x of t Fourier transform is x of j omega, then And x1 of t Fourier transform is x1 of j omega, x2 of t Fourier transform is x2 of j omega, then the statement V is the statement is if we are going to find out the Fourier transform of a1 x1 of t and a2 x2 of whereas a1 and a2 are the constants and x1 and x2 are the different two functions. And if we are going to obtain the Fourier transform of these two functions, then the result in Fourier domain is. So this is our result. Now the statement that we are going to prove. So let's go through the proof first. So first of all, we will use the definition of Fourier transform. So by according to definition of Fourier transform, So by according to definition of Fourier transform, the x of j omega that is Fourier transform of continuous time signal x of t is represented by integration of limits minus infinity infinity x of t into e to the power minus j omega t dt. But here my x of t is nothing but the combination of two different function x1 of t and x2 of t and as well as x1 and x2 are multiplied with a1 and a2 respectively and both are constants. So we will substitute my function first. So if we are going to find out the Fourier transform of a1 x1 of t and a2 x2 of t then I am going to replace this x of t by this whole equation. So this whole nothing but my x of t and this is x of t is multiplied with e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now I can say that this e to the power minus j omega t can be multiplied inside this bracket then what will happen? And we are going to integrate this whole function with respect to time t. Now look at here if I take this dt inside this bracket which means we can integrate both this function separately. So look at here, I have integrated both these sides separately but with respect to time t. Now here a1 and a2 both are constant so I can take this a1 and a2 outside this integration. Now look at here, here I can use the definition of Fourier transform that is the definition according to definition of Fourier transform I can say that x of t into e to the power minus j omega t. If I am going to integrate both this product with respect to time t over the limits or over the range is minus infinity to the infinity then we can use the definition of Fourier transform which is nothing but x of j omega. So here my x of t is nothing but my x1 of t so I can say that according to definition this is nothing but my x1 of j omega because only the thing is definition here we have x of t and over here in this step we have x1 of t similarly look at here in the definition we have x of t over here or at the place x2 of t so you can say that x of t e to the power minus j omega t dt 
over the range of minus infinity infinity if we integrate then this is nothing but the definition of Fourier transform so according to definition we can write x of j omega so here also we can represent this whole equation by the definition or we can represent this whole integration by using a definition as this so this is nothing but the proof of linearity property what he said or what according to linearity property we can say that linearity property means what you can find out a Fourier transform of both these functions separately if we have a plus or minus sign in between these two functions if the function is present in product form or if the function is present in numerator and denominator both the parts then we will use the different ways to find out the solution so that's all for now so in next video we will see the next Fourier transform property but for that stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos thank you so much